today we are going to learn about one important topic in advanced search filter so whenever we are doing production support advanced search filter is mandatory unlike the normal search which we we'll use let's go to mouth connect and this is one of the channel which i created uh, having like three different destinations and ignore whatever the logic i have written inside these are like almost like pass through and we'll see what is the use of advanced search filter i'll just go into this particular dashboard so and routinely we we'll, we we'll use the start time and type and text search which is generally uh, very common use uh, by selecting the send q and other thing but we need some advanced type of search filters when we are doing production support and that too with a huge database so uh, we will go with the topics one by one completely covering each and every uh, type of uh, filter so here then we will start uh, currently we'll start with uh, the destinations so when you look over this particular thing so here you can see a source destination destination to and deleted connectors so the main purpose of this particular uh, search filter is like when you are trying to search something it will search only the thing which it has been selected for example let's send one sample message i'll copy this sample message from this particular notepad and i'll try to paste it and let's give some unique details so everyone will understand so over here what i'll do in the sending application i'll give something like uh, apple okay and we'll try to process this message to only uh, destination 1 over here and i'll remove this apple and i'll use something else like sehwag okay that would be helpful yep sehwag okay remember this name and i'll copy it and i'll process it only to destination 1 perfect the problem is like generally when we use this particular text search and do the search we'll get this message directly but the problem is when we have like around 42000 messages uh, in each and every source destination and every place it takes lot of time to search with the particular keyword and these are just uh, lifetime statistics i just change it to current statistics these are very less messages so we are able to search it but in real time and when you are doing real production support they will like lacks of lacks of messages processing so when you will do the search it will show the buffering time over here it might take 10 minutes to 1 hour or like it more than that depends upon the way or the way you are searching so at that time advanced search filter will be useful in this advanced search filter for example i'll deselect all and i'll select destination 2 rather than destination 1 okay and i'll click okay over here i'll paste this save ago here when i search i cannot search anything because only it has been selected as destination 2 when i search on destination 1 select destination 1 and search right now you can see only the destination has been shown over here that's how uh, the advanced search filter destination 1 2 3 like uh, this type of particular filter works so this is mainly useful when we are doing bulk search as i said when you have like lacks of lacks of messages over here in the destination 1 2 3 the source so it will take lot of time so we'll be using this and the other good part of this is like deleted connectors if you have any legacy interfaces legacy channels which you have deleted previously and you are trying to search that would be very very helpful for example if you are searching for the data which has been deleted by an fresher resource without knowing it and you want to recover that that would be very helpful over here what i'll do uh as i said uh send the text message or save up only for this particular destination one i'll delete this destination one i'll go to my channels i'll go to support testing one the destination i'll delete this and we'll search after deleting it perfect i deleted it save changes and deploy channel okay yep destination one has been deleted successfully now i'll go and search with save up i will not get it okay i even got something because it has been selected over here i'll deselect all everything and i'll search because it automatically search everything we got it so what i'll do yeah i'll do something like this and search i won't get only in the source uh, i have that message because it has been sent to the source we are getting it so the main purpose of this is like if you are searching for a specific value in a specific uh destination or source you can easily track it so the time taken right now to search this is very fast rather than the time taken 
to search uh, in all uh, things. So I'll go back and I'll show you something uh, new. If I select this directly in the destination 2, you can see all the destination 2. Automatically, the filter has been selected as destination 2. Okay. If I select something like this, automatically it has been selected as destination 3. So you generally, you will be not using this uh, advanced, but internally it has been selected like destination 3. Then you might ask, why? what is the use of advanced search filter over here? If I have something like an option, I can directly go to destination 2, I can directly uh, go to destination 3, and it's automatic selects. Why there is an option? In case you want to search on two destinations together, okay, and you want to get the value. So in that case, it is very helpful. For example, I'll send something. I'll send a message. Okay, it's not Sihak. I'll copy the message from here and I'll go here and I'll paste it. I'll give something like des1, des2 over here, okay? I'll remove everything. I'll give something like des1, des2, destination1, destination2 and I'll copy and I'll process only to okay, there is no destination one. Okay, I'll give it as destination3 and 2. Okay, I'll process the message and if I want to select only destination 2 and 3 over here I cannot select both of them together and double click it, it won't work I need to select it manually over here so this is helpful only when you have like 10 to 15 destinations that is the one scenario and the other scenario would be like when you have like lakhs of lakhs of messages processing through your channel to just cut short the time we are going to use this advanced search filter in that we are going to use this and the third scenario if you have deleted anything previously okay and you want to search it it would be very easy to search that particular one I'll again search for Sehwag you got it so in practically there is no destination one existing over here but if you search with only deleted connectors it has been existed okay I'll select okay and I'll search okay sorry it is Sehwag perfect you can see destination one so there are multiple cases uh, to use this particular filters not only uh, one scenario which is going to help us so I'll always suggest uh, to use this advanced filter uh, destination selecting over here it would be very very useful but if you are not uh, selecting multiple destinations I always suggest go over here and click on the specific destination it will only search with the destination over here automatically check marks over here so we'll conclude this session so we'll go deep into advanced search filter like uh, message id and all this process in the next video i want to make a very short and uh, sweet video so people now will not get confused so we'll uh, look into next video thank you